Welcome everybody, Steve here. Well today we've got a little different project on the go. I'm going to fix a radiator. This is a radiator for my buddy's van and it's got a little leak here. You can kind of see that it's, it's leaking from up top and kind of cleaned it up a little bit to see if I could find the, the holes and it was it's quite difficult. So I'm going to have to uh, kind of pressure this up and what I'm going to do is I've got a bucket of water, like a little tub of water outside, and I'm going to blow a little air in here and see if I can find out where the leak is. And then once I find that, then we can see whether or not we can fix it. Confidence is high. I think we can do it. So first of all, we've got to plug this off. This isn't an issue. And uh, I'm just going to tape it. Now, I remember years ago, my dad had a he had these, uh, it was like a piece of hose and it was capped off and then it had a little, little like a, a, a nipple on it so that you could just put your, uh, you know, filler for your tire air chuck on there and just go, psh, give a little bit of pressure. But I don't have any of those things and, you know, every one of these is a different size. That one's larger than this one, which is larger than this one. So if I was to buy something to plug everything off, you know, that's three things a guy has to buy for one radiator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tape it off. If a little bit of air leaks out of here, I'm not really too concerned. So what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of uh, duct tape. And then I'm going to get my air compressor going, but I'm not going to, you know, pressure it right up to 120 pounds. I'm just going to maybe go to 20, 25 pounds. And then I'll blow a little air in there with this submerged. And we're going to see if we can find the hole. So we'll just cap it off. And I'm going to run some electrical tape around there. I figure that's going to help. Just to kind of help keep it a little bit more sealed off. Just tighten it up because you got little folds and things like that. Okay, let's go outside. Oh, by the way, I plugged this one off, you know, like semi. Well, I should probably do a little better job of that. See if we can tighten that up too. blow a little air in here. Whoa! Let me get a little closer look here. Then what I want to do, see a couple bubbles coming from there there and that's it all right back inside it's raining I gotta get going here camera's getting wet so I'm just uh, I found the holes and I'm just kind of I don't know whether I should be doing that just kind of Open them up a little bit with the with the all. Two holes, and it there doesn't look like they're, you know, you know, from damage. It looks like it's from corrosion. So this this radiator is getting close to being done. So we got over here. Oh, that looks pretty good over there. So we may have to move a couple of these fins here. I don't know. We'll see what happens there. I gotta get this cleaned up here really, really well so that the solder sticks. Hmm. All right. So we got the two holes. We'll plug those ones off and then we'll see if there's any more leaks. 
We'll have to get that all cleaned up, so we'll get a little wire brush and uh, maybe a little bit of sandpaper and we'll clean that up so that we can solder that. Now the uh, wire brush does an okay job. Just have to widen out the, uh, the fins a little bit so we can get some solder in there. I think I'm going to have to do a little bit more than that. Get in there with a piece of sandpaper. I got some 80 grit going here. Now that does a little nicer job. It's like surgery, this stuff. We'll uh, straighten all these fins back out. It's not that big of a deal. And you can kind of see that there's, after I got that cleaned up there, there's a, another pit hole right here. Yep. So we'll have to extend the uh, solder over to there. Okay, let me get rigged up here and see if we can solder that up. So you can probably see the holes there. And I got one on that side there. So I'm just going to pull a bit of paste on. Now I'm going to use lead. I'm going to use my soldering iron to try it first, simply because we're so close, you know, to the tank. If a guy gets a little too hot there, boy. You sure don't want to start uh, melting the uh, the lead around your tank. That wouldn't uh, that wouldn't be too good. And what else? Oh yeah, right over here. I'm trying out some lead. Now this is uh, given to me by a fellow there that does some auto body with lead, and lead melts at a little bit uh, lower temperature. <coughs> I'm pretty sure it does. Give this a shot. And it's humming. Alright, just gotta be patient, gotta wait for everything to warm up. If this doesn't work, I'll have to go to my uh, plumbing kit, but I'm pretty sure I can get this working. Okay, I got a pretty good puddle on my on the tip of my uh, soldering iron. It's starting to melt on there. Hmm. Well, it's sticking to it. <clears throat> Just don't have enough lead on there. The lead is just a little bit uh, big to be working with, that's for sure. This is going to be just a little bit too tough. I got that one over there. Just uh, not melting this. Try some rosin core. Because that's lead. Let's give this a shot. I was hoping I could, you know, use that big one. But I'm going to try a little rosin core here.
Like I said, I'm not a pro when it comes to fixing radiators. Got that one fixed over there. Just not getting hot enough. Just not able to get it hot enough. So I think I'm gonna have to go with the, uh, the torch. I'll be right back. I was hoping. Amazing what happens when you put a little heat to her. I think that's going to work fine and dandy. Sure looks good. Let's go get her tested out. All right, let's give her a shot here. Oh, well, I still got a leak. Oh, it's another. Uh, yeah, another one there. Okay, back to the drawing board. Yeah, a couple more right there. Just little tiny micro little pinholes. These ones aren't leaking now. Get her cleaned up. Hopefully I'm not chasing these forever. All right, I'm gonna just use the rosin core because it's lead, made for wire. But I'm still gonna put a little extra paste on there. It's not gonna hurt nothing. A little blobby, but I think that'll work. There we go. All right, back to the jug. All right, one more shot here. Oh, I think we got her. Just leaking out of uh, our taped area there. Okay, success story. Well, it's not the prettiest, but you know what? It's gonna work out really well. I'm gonna straighten out these little fins here a little bit. Get in there with the all on this guy. And this job is done. So we got her fixed up, and you know what? That wasn't as bad as I thought. 
I was really hoping that I could just use my soldering gun, but there's just too much material. The heat gets sinked away and you're just not able to get enough heat. And I was able to get enough with the uh, torch, but you gotta be really, really careful. And it did, you know, if you're in a bigger area, this chunk of lead, that works fine. But when it's really tight and you gotta be a little bit more precise, it just worked better. I just, I remembered I had this rosin core and uh, this one here is tin and lead. But any of the stuff that you get out of your, you know, if you're using solder for your home, you know, there's no lead in that anymore. So I think the uh, melting point is a little higher. I can't be really too sure on that. I'd have to look it up on YouTube, but I'm pretty sure it is. Anyway, we got her. Now we can install it and he's on the road again. Um, this, this doesn't get driven very much at all, but I tell you, if, if, if he was gonna go across country, go on a big trip, I'd tell him to get a, go up and get another radiator. In fact, I think that that will probably uh, suggest that. But for now, it's going to get him back on the road and it wasn't that bad of a fix. So, you know what? If you have to fix it, you can. You just have to watch a video. So until next time, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.